The uh, 2015 homiletic directory uh, for this week, the third Sunday in Ordinary Time Year A, um, it ha has recommendations of suggested catechism paragraphs uh, and it has them under three headings. The first heading being the call of the twelve. Second heading, reign of God calls and gathers Jews and Gentiles. And the third heading is unity of the church. There's a choice of gospel readings for this week. Uh, the short version uh, says that after the arrest of John the Baptist, Jesus went to Capernaum. This fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah about Zebulun and Naphtali, which is in the first reading. And the short version, this short version of the gospel ends with Jesus preaching the message, repent for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Uh, that's about the reign of God heading that, that the homiletic directory uses. It's only in the longer version of the of the gospel reading uh, that it talks about the apostles who stop fishing to follow Jesus. So I think the suggested catechism paragraphs uh, under the heading the call of the twelve would only apply if the longer gospel reading is selected. The second reading is from St Paul's first letter to the Corinthians where he calls on them to make up their differences and be united again in their belief and practice. This gives the suggested ten paragraphs of the Catechism under the heading Unity of the Church. A lot of this is from the Second Vatican Council's Decree on Ecumenism, Unitatis Redentia Gratio. This section on the unity of the Church is, has got a, a summary in the uh, Compendium of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraphs 161 to 164. In the uh, Youth cat Catechism, youth, UCAT, there's a summary of it in questions 129 to 131. So to, to summarise the summary, uh, the compendium has, an, under the heading, the church is one holy Catholic and apostolic from the, the Nicene Creed. The first question the compendium has is, why is the church one? And it talks about it there being uh, her founder, uh, Jesus, and her soul, the Holy Spirit. Um, question 162, where does the one church of Christ subsist? Which is in the Catholic Church. Question 163, how are non-Catholic Christians to be considered? And 164, how does one commit oneself to work for the unity of Christians? And talks about their conversion of heart, prayer, fraternal knowledge of each other, and theological dialogue. Some interesting words from the Catechism from this section are apostolic succession, subsists, ecumenism, heresy, apostasy, and schism. Here I've sketched out uh, the 15 paragraphs that are discussed. Um, the first paragraph 551, I show the emphasises the Twelve Apostles and the calling of the Twelve Apostles. Uh, paragraph 765 looks at the church structure. Here we have under the heading Reign of God, three paragraphs. 541 talks about the Gospel passage of Repent, the Kingdom of God is at hand. Uh, 542 is looking at Jesus as the centre of the church and when he is lifted up he will call all men to himself. And in 5.43, the, the image of a, of a field with, with seeds growing, forming the church.